All right, this is the walkthrough for sales job number two. What we're going to learn today is how to add a sheet to our document, how to copy and paste data from one sheet to another, how to format our cells, including moving the decimal points and automatically adding a money symbol, and finally making a chart. So this is the spreadsheet we have been working on so far. As we can see, we have formulas in all of these. We can click and see up in the formula bar that there is some math happening there. Now, the instructions say that we need to copy all of this onto a new sheet. And down here, we have two sheets open. Most documents come with just one sheet can easily add another sheet by clicking the Add Sheet button. Now we can move between the sheets by clicking on their tabs. To copy and paste the information, we're going to want to select what we want to copy, and we can either right-click Copy or Control, Control, C. Moving over to our other sheet, clicking down at the bottom, we can paste by right-clicking, paste, or control V. We have now moved information from sheet one to sheet three. One thing I noticed a few people struggled with was removing the decimal points from their numbers. This can be done one at a time by clicking the decreased decimal points or increased decimal places. For example, Peter Parker in January made $500. I have not changed that number, but I have added two decimal points. If I want to decrease that decimal points, I simply click the decreased decimal points. Another fun tip is if you wanted to edit these quickly, notice that regardless of wh what I type, that uh, money symbol is returning. That can be applied to a box through this formatting tab up here, Format as Currency. When you click it, initially you're going to get your decimal points back. We can decrease the decimal points by clicking the decrease decimal points. There are some other formats that might be useful. The last thing it asks you to do, which we don't know how to do yet, is to make a chart. We can do that by going up to insert, chart, and we will have a blank chart inserted into our our file. There's a few things we need to know about that. We uh, can select our chart type and then we can start inserting our data. We want a column chart so we're quite happy with that. However, there are a lot of other charts to explore. We want our x-axis or the horizontal axis to be the employees names. I click x-axis, and then it asks me what date. If I start clicking at the employee and drag down, the employee title will be the title at the bottom of the graphic. Say OK. Now nothing's happened yet because we don't have a y-axis. To insert our y-axis, we go over to series, click add series, and we want to start January and drag down. As soon as I click OK, my graph updates, and you can see January on the side. If you make a mistake, you click Add Series, and you don't include the month, and you say OK, you lose your labels. To remove that series, you have to go up to your data ranges, 
click select data ranges and remove the last set of data, the data that you don't want. We can reposition our graph by clicking the edge and moving it. To continue editing this graph, we can click the three dots in the corner and then edit chart. We can add more series by clicking add series. When prompted for the data, this time I'll make sure I include February. The chart automatically updates. I can add each month in turn, and we can see the graph automatically updates. It's also useful to be able to customize how your graph looks. We can change our chart title and axes. So for chart title, I could say performance review. And it appears at the top. The horizontal axis, I can label with chart title, horizontal axis title. And it shows with employee. When you're done and you're happy with your graph, you can click off and it is now there. A few other things that are useful is to move to its own sheet. And as we can see, this automatically takes up the entire sheet. We can save as an image. This is useful if you want to insert into a Google Doc but you can also click copy chart, go into a Google document and edit paste. And there is your chart.